Hey everybody, to whom it matters, Merry Christmas. This is a quick video I wanted to redo, overclocking your NVIDIA graphics card in Ubuntu. Quick disclaimer, I'm not responsible for any damages to your card while overclocking. First off, I'm making this video with driver version 384.90. So to do this, you need to edit, edit your XORG file using your favorite text editor. I'll be using gedit. The location is in the etc x11 folder, and you can access you can edit it using this command. Once open, scroll down to the section titled Device. There will be one of these sections for every GPU you have installed. Inside the Device section, simply add the line CoolBits28. Right here. 8 and 16 are also valid options rather than 28, but I believe 28 is a good blanket option to unlock everything you need. Once you've added CoolBits, save the file and then restart your computer. Once back in, if you go to your NVIDIA settings, you will see under thermal settings, you now have the option to set your fan speed and under power miser, you can now edit performance levels. I have already played around with this to find my stable offsets. In order for you to find your stable offsets, you should increase the offset value of either the GPU or memory slightly, and then run a GPU benchmark or stress test to test the stability. I personally feel that Unigen's Superposition is currently the best tool for this job. It's a free to use benchmarking program. If you are overclocking for mining, I think you can just start to mine the test stability. So the key to increase your offsets this, so the key to overclocking is to increase your offset slightly and then test using superposition. You can just run through the bench, then you can just run through the benchmark once. Once you started to have either graphical issues or crashes, decrease your offsets until there is no more issues or crashes. Rinse and repeat this process until your system is stable. Once you think you found your perfect values, run superposition for a prolonged period of time to make sure you're stable. Every time you shut down your computer, your overclock will be reset. So you may wish to create a startup script that runs every time you boot. I already have a startup script to do this. I will have the contents of this file in the video description. In my file, line 4 enables fan control. Line 7 sets the fan speed to 70%, line 10 increases the memory offset to 850, and line 13 increases the GPU offset to 250. You can copy and paste this from the description into a text editor, into a text editor but make sure to change the offsets to your desired values and then save the file as a sh file. Next, search for startup applications. Once there, click add and then enter a name. For command, click on browse and navigate to the SH, navigate to the sh file you just made. Once selected, you can click Add and your file will be executed on startup. Finally, if you ever update your drivers, you may need to edit the XORG file to add cool bits again. The startup script should continue to work just fine though. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like it. If you really like to subscribe. To whom it matters, Merry Christmas and have a great day. Beneath a mass of angry red gold that glowered and hated the world, some hemlocks sighed and some had wind in the grass. The 
the moon was looking through her locked branches off the front of the perturbable bundles of blankets which lay under these agonized confines. The fire grew on the roots and last of the last of those, but the bundles made no sign of the Often, the unknown 